Nice day out there. This is the last weekend, this Labor Day weekend, before the kids have to head back to school. And it's going to be a nice weekend whether you're here in Lethbridge or heading out and doing some camping or hiking, whatever it is that you want to do. It should be just a, a great weekend. Right now in the city, it's 28 degrees, sunny sky, a moderate east wind. The humidity is down there at 17%, so it's comfortable. If you want to have a barbecue tonight, uh, go right ahead. Temperatures across southern Alberta, well, we've got 30 degrees, as you can see, to the east in Medicine Hat. High 20s for Lethbridge and Milk River and in uh, Brooks. Drops to the low 20s as you get further northwest towards Calgary, but right up there in the mid 20s as you see in Cranbrook. Here's what's happened in the last 12 hours. Lots of sunshine here in southern Alberta. Uh, some cirrus cloud moving up caught in the jet stream northwest of Calgary, but uh, that's not going to affect us and indeed we're going to see just more in the way of sunshine. Radar here a little bit uh, misleading because we've got ground clutter over Medicine Hat and Calgary here and we've got the uh, radar beams hitting the mountains, all those rocks and you see the reflection of that but meanwhile no rain anywhere and very little in the way of cloud over southern Alberta. You can see the computer forecaster here and interesting because it shows the potential for some showers this evening in Kananaskis country southwest of Calgary. There's just a small chance of a sprinkle there. I wouldn't put my uh, anything on it. And then tomorrow afternoon from Calgary north and to the west through the Continental Divide, there's just a chance here of a sprinkle. Lethbridge should say stay dry. And then you can see for the rest of, well, at least until late Sunday, just some patchy cirrus cloud drifting through. Should be, as I say, a really nice weekend to end off summer. Meanwhile, across uh, the rest of the country, seasonal temperatures in St. John's, 18 right now, 21 in Halifax. Gets warm as you get into the rest of eastern Canada, 26 in Moncton, 25 in Montreal, 27 in Ottawa, 30 currently in Toronto, 34 in Windsor, reached a sultry 35 earlier today in Windsor, and mild in the west, 31 in Winnipeg, 29 in Regina, 27 in Saskatoon, 21 in Edmonton, currently 24 in Kelowna, 20 in Vancouver, and across the north, seasonal temperatures in the teens there. We've got 19 degrees currently in Whitehorse. Okay, if you're heading west into the Kootenays of BC, expect to see high of 20 degrees tomorrow with a moderate southwest wind, and we'll see... Uh, as I say, mainly sunny skies. Out in the Crow's Nest Pass area, expect the winds to pick up during the day, gusting to 70, sunny and a high of 20 degrees. For ourselves, we'll start off with a southwest wind, uh, I should say for Medicine Hat, 29 degrees and a light wind, lots of sunshine. And for ourselves, well, we'll start off with a southwest wind of 30, but that'll gust to 70 in the afternoon, so hold on to your hairpiece. The high won't be as warm as today, about 5 degrees cooler, 24 degrees, but lots of sunshine. And if we look at the long-range forecast, the sun continues right through Sunday, Holiday Monday and Tuesday as well. The only difference is, notice that the temperatures decline down somewhat from the mid-20s to the low-20s on Holiday Monday and on Tuesday as well. Okay, let's give you your citizen salute. And today's winner is Geraldine Smithers. She's 89 years old, loves to paint, has painted, what is it, 600 paintings, oil and watercolors, gives most of them away, I think all of them away, to her friends and her relatives. And she tells us she likes the watercolors better because the eyes of the little animals look clearer when it's watercolors as opposed to oil. So that's our citizen for today. Daryl, back to you. That is one fine salute. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. With the new school year just around the corner, pediatricians are reminding parents about what they can do to ensure their children have a successful and healthy school year. They recommend students begin to transition from later summer days to early school mornings, which can be specifically difficult for teenagers. Establishing a regular sleep schedule can produce behavior problems, mood swings, and even hyperactivity. It can also improve study and work habits. Experts say children should average between 8 and 12 hours of sleep each night. And we welcome a well-rested young gentleman in Glenn Campbell with Sports Next. Yeah, you betcha. And we're going to talk about Lethbridge Hurricanes. And they weren't very happy with the no. toughness last year. They knew they had to add some size uh, in the offseason. And yep. that's exactly what they did. They addressed what the problems were. So we are going to be sizing it up when we come back in sports. <laughs>